Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to episode three of The Rise. Shout out to the Nodi gang out there, man. If you here early, man, before uh, 10,000 viewers, make sure you guys put notification gang inside the chat. But today we're here to talk about a lot. Now, I told you guys that I was going to be talking about the Vinsanity upgrade. Now, with this current character, his weight is too low, but I still will get a plus three in strength and vertical. But I will recreate this character when the full game comes out. A lot of people was inside the comment section of my last video saying, hey, why don't you just recreate him inside the demo? Well, to be honest with you guys, if I recreate him in a demo, that means I would have to do everything all over again for no reason, because I would basically be deleting the data from the demo and starting all over. The only time I want to actually do the rise all over again is when the full game comes out because the only thing i'm worried about are the actual rewards now if you constantly make i would say four to five characters and you keep doing a rise all over again you guys can open up all the pieces to each crate which will give you dope sleeves dope sneakers dope dope joggers and stuff like that that's the only reason why i would do the, a character all over again only reason Letters in your name get bigger like cat blocks. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Jesse the Laser, and we are back. And major alert the one went off last night in Rio. Let's go check it out. Man, that was an amazing game from the one last night. My boy was on fire last night. He's absolutely dominating down there in Rio. I'm loving the performances the one has been putting on. If you want to see more content from him, you can check out my channel and. All right, guys, so that's a good look for Jessa right there, man, being in a video game. Now, Stephen A. Smith says, I'm hearing that the one in his squad has been invited to a private run by Victor Aladipo. And the crazy thing is, I didn't know I was actually getting, you know, introduced to Victor by creating my own court. Now, when the demo first dropped, I was saying to myself, okay, I know I got to create a court at some point, but I know I'm going to be doing court battles. So I really didn't have a, a game plan behind the court that I created. So the court that you guys will see today is going to be totally up to you guys. I'm going to put a poll on the side of this video up in the annotations. I want you guys to vote on that poll. What I'm basically going to ask is the court that I create in this video. I want to know if you want me to keep that court throughout the remainder of NBA Live 19. And then, you know, just make small courts on the side and other creations. But let this be my main court for like all the funny banter and stuff that I do. Now, the crazy thing is, man, I always wanted to have like some more voice with the text, but I guess, I mean, since it is a text message, technically I'm not talking to anybody, but maybe I should be able to send out like a voice text or something like that. You know what I mean? I don't know, man, but that's just me. Now, the reason why I do the rise and I don't go for any of the XP and the hype is because I'm all about the gear. Whenever um I have a choice at all over XP and gear, I tend to always lean more to gear just because of the simple fact that sometimes gear that I might get might cost me more if I don't open up that crate. You know what I mean? So let's hop into customizing the court. Now, like I told you guys, man, this is going to be a whole new court right here. Now, I decided to do something stupid and just create something funny, man. So the name of the court is going to be the King's Lair, of course. Something pretty simple, not too crazy. Now, where I'm from, I'm from Chester, PA. A lot of people always ask me in my videos, over social media, stuff like that. I, I tell people all the time, I'm not from Philadelphia, I'm from Chester, PA. And for me to be a game changer and stuff like that, I'm really glad that my city was put in this game. But I also want my city to be on court battles. That's all I'm saying, EA. Put Chester on the map. That's what I'm here for. So moving on to the courts man i decided to go to with something very plain jane nothing too crazy i mean they have some pretty good templates here but i decided to go with that black with the white lines it's, it's a pretty dope feel man it has a nice feel to it i'm not mad about it now as far as like customizing and stuff like that as far as the logo went i decided to go with this nice logo right here i mean it's pretty dull it's like literally like in a loaded screen if you're looking at it it's like bruh <laughs> and that's technically what i did man so on the sidelines, I decided to go with something pretty funny. Um, this is like a term that I use in one of my recent videos. I call a bunch of people double scoop trash at certain video games. And that's just the way I feel, man. I, I don't know, man. That's just the way I feel. 
Now, right here, man, I put your dad can't check me on the sideline. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm completely out of pocket right now, man. But remember, if you want me to keep this court, make sure you guys vote on the poll, man. So I basically put just log off right now on the side. And funny thing, when I actually looked at this and I said, you know what? I, I like the way the sideline looks. I ended up changing you double scoop trash to your double scoop trash. So it's going to be while you apostrophe RE, but still vote. Let me know if you guys want me to keep this court. And I guarantee you, your dad can't check me. Tell him to pull up in that live, man. If he wants some problems, tell him to pull up in that live. But let's go ahead and pull up to Victor Aladipo on my new court. Let's get it. All right, guys, check this out, man. I remember the challenges being very clear. I had to win the game as well as score more points than Victor Aladipo. So just watch for me to be very aggressive this game. And I guess watch for Victor to be aggressive as well as he misses that shot. Now we out on a break. Um, funny thing, when I'm playing NBA Live, right, I noticed that I try to play it like it's 2K. Now that's just like, you know, muscle memory sometimes and stuff like that. But as I play NBA Live more and more all year, yes, this will be an all year thing. I won't stop playing live. I won't give up on live and I won't stop recording and uploading live. So if you are a fan of NBA Live 19, make sure you guys definitely do subscribe. Make sure you guys definitely do turn on notifications because you guys will be seeing content from me daily. And funny thing, NBA Live has live events. There's always new content to be dropped. So if you want to play NBA Live 19 with me, make sure you join my Discord as well. I will have that link inside the description and I will have that link inside the chat. If you guys don't know what Discord is, Discord is a server, some it's basically a big chat server with a bunch of my friends, fans, and stuff like that. And we always linking up on different games to play. So like I said, subscribe turn on noties join discord and we good so back to the game man it's currently four to six you already know you winning i mean come on let's be honest it's me out here now i'm trying to drive to the rack i don't know how i got that one off and in but hey that left hand is strong i don't know what i'd be doing with that left hand on my free time but that thing's strong now I tried to drive right there, so I kick it out, didn't get it, had to get it back. Now, I love the pick and roll. The only reason being is that the pick and roll feels really smooth to me. Um, sometimes they slip, sometimes they do hug and, and then roll, but most of the time it's, it's a real, real smooth animation. Not too many crazy things happen, but check this out, man. Who told Tatum he could pull up on me like that? You know what I'm saying? So you know I had to try to get this dude back. Got in with a nice little screen right there, and I said, no, nah, bruh. This all me. Meet me at the rim. You see how Tatum got up off the screen. Yeah, we gonna run that back. He got up off the screen and tried to meet me at the rim. He tripping, tripping, right? I don't know what's wrong with this guy, man. But uh, <laughs> it's currently 12 to seven. I don't think this team is gonna be able to beat us, but I do remember that I have to put the moves on. But Oladipo is out here. What's wrong with this man? Why he doing that to her? Like, no disrespect, Deli Don, like, I, I chose you to be on my team. I chose you to run our offense. And you out here getting dropped off like that by Vic? Come on, man. We can't be having that. <laughs> now, as I get the ball here, I'm trying to get past. I don't know how in the world I got that off, but I told y'all that left hand strong. It's something about that left hand, man. I don't know what I be doing, but check out Vic real quick, man. Still putting the moves on. Watch this. Boom. Oh, excuse me. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this boy heating up something serious. Now, it's 11 to 14, they are trying to close the gap, but I'm here, man. You ain't gonna stop us. I told you that pick and roll look good, man. I'm just saying I like running that pick and roll. Now, crazy thing, this move right here, step back, wide open, don't know how he missed it with the highest confidence out there, but I can't lie, man. If it gave us some offense, I ain't got no problem with that. And I still finish with the left over Tatum. I don't know if he double scoop trash or if I'm just that good, but he can't check me, fam. Now, Vic out here putting out the moves, man. Check this out. Excuse me. Right around the defense. Easy buckets. Victor, come on, man. 
Really? You trying to score all these points on me? What's wrong with you? But Brittany, Grind, I don't know what you was doing. Shorty, you got to go. Now, I don't have any stamina, so I kick it off. But check this out, man. Nice play by the CPUs, man. Linking up together. Now, it's currently 13 to 20. Vic's still out here trying to be a problem. Driving to the rack. Get that mess out of here. Now, check this out. Funny style. I jump because I'm thinking he really going to pull up and he just finished crazy at the rim. I don't know what my problem was right there. But guess who can't hit a pull-up jumper? Sorry, Tatum, you double scoop trash, boy. Now we coming down. See that clear lane? And you know we had to finish him off. Don't know why I fell up right there. But it was a nice way to end the game. Now, guess who got played play the game? Not me. You want to know why I didn't get played the game? Because my dunk packages is trash. And technically, Vic was snapping, bro. I mean, he could have had any play of the game. could have had any of those ankle breakers. He could have had any of those step back jumpers that he was hitting. But pretty much, we came out. We got the win. I finished both challenges. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys let me know inside the chat. A um, couple things before I get up out of here. Make sure you guys vote on the court in the poll. Make sure you guys, if you're here before the 10,000 mark, make sure you spam Nodi Gang inside the chat. And um, also, make sure you guys join my Discord. Discord is key. You hear me? Discord is key. But this is your boy IKC signing out. We're going to see you guys in the next episode. Peace. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.